No rules, just right. That's what they used to say as the slogan at Outback Steakhouse. No rules, just right. Papa Shrimp on the Barbie. But I ask this question. Were there rules? Are there rules at Outback Steakhouse? Sure there are. When you get the bill for your dinner, you have to pay it. The taxes that are included on that bill, you have to pay those. You can't go in the kitchen and cook your own dinner. Sure, there are rules. And if you work there, how about this? If the manager says, take the bloomin' onion to table 13 and not table 1, you should take it to table 13, even if your friends are sitting on table 1. There are rules, but above all the rules, it would seem like one of the rules is if you work there, you got to listen to the manager. Talking today about Luke chapter 17 and verse 14. Some lepers have come to Jesus on the border of Galilee and Samaria, and they are asking Jesus to have mercy on them. Interesting, they're putting it in Jesus' hands. And what Jesus does here is really striking. He doesn't say to them, I'm going to heal you. Or he doesn't, like in other cases, touch them and say, be healed. Or he doesn't, as in other cases, speak a word to heal them. He tells them to go do something. He says, go and show yourself to the priests. Let's pause. Could it be that the key to our healing, the key to our spiritual transformation, the key to our walk with the Lord, is doing what he says we should do? And before anything else comes, even before their healing comes, they have to get on their way. They have to get moving. They have to do what he said. They have to head off to the priest. Maybe when we get moving first, following Jesus' words, then the things God has for us will come. And maybe the problem is the manager is saying, go to table 13, not table 1. And Jesus, the Lord, is saying, forgive that person. No, no. Don't say, say those words at this second. Yeah, put your phone down and spend the next half hour in the scriptures. Maybe before God brings the benefit our way, we have to hear what the Lord is saying. Really good things were ahead for those lepers. But first, they had to do what Jesus said. After all, sometimes they really are rules. This is your daily devotional for Friday. I hope you're doing well. I hope you'll pray for the church and pray for me. I hope you'll seek first the kingdom of God. And remember, Jesus said, blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Amen.